Hi, welcome to this ninth video on a GUI based approach to machine learning for sports betting. Today I'm going to look at how we can use uh, the models built to run against the day's declarations for horse racing and how we can produce ratings for today's declarations. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to create a, a simple model. Once again, I'm not demonstrating how to create profitable models. I'm demonstrating the functionality of the software, but I will just run over creating a model again as a reminder, although I've covered this in earlier videos. I'm going to select um, three ver three features. Um, days since horse last ran, the number of previous races, and trainer strike rate. Now if I create the model, let's pull this in. I'm going to do tenfold, five-fold cross-validation on the on the data, and of course, it may well be that w once I've created a model, I would have saved it and then simply loaded it back up through the load load model button on the main menu, but um, and then run that against the day's declarations. But I'm wanting to just demonstrate once again how a model's created using the the various features that are available. Okay, um, before we run in the model against the uh, the day's declarations, just a word and a thanks to Matt who suggested having an extra field on the output here, max drawdown. What this shows is the maximum drawdown for each rank of rating that you can expect if you were to be betting them. So it gives you a good indication of the size of bank you're going to need and um, the kind of pain you, you're likely to endure at any moment in time uh, due to drawdowns on your bank. So there's an extra column there that shows the maximum drawdown. So the maximum drawdown on the top rated was 256 on this example. Okay, let's close that window down. I don't need that at the moment. What I'm going to do is model up here. I'm going to model the day's declarations. These are there's obviously no declarations today. Racing we're still in close down at the moment, so there's no racing. But these are from uh, I think in November. I think is when I created them. But these declarations, the the day's declarations, will be available when you click on this button from approximately nine ten o'clock every evening for the following day. So I click on model decks. It tells me that there were eight runners loaded from this particular day. And then it's telling me that they've been outputted to a file called todaysrats.csv. Now if I go to my folder and click on todaysrats.csv. Let's see if I can get this into the uh, window. Here we go. Okay, we can see that it's created three columns. The track and time, the name of the horse, and the rating. And top rated is, let me stop you there. And second top rated is Global Melody and so on. Right down for each race that was run on the day. Okay, so that's how you would produce a set of ratings for, just get this out of the way. So that's how you would produce a set of ratings from a model that you've built. And as I, as I said, you would typically have saved the model up here. And then when you come back in the evening to, to run the model against the day's declarations, you would load the model and then model the decks. Okay, uh, this, is, this is a very short video. Um, it's also a video to, to let you know that this software is going to be available in the next week or two. So if you're interested in using it, then uh, register your interest by uh, going to the email group that I've set up. You can join an email group and uh, I'll be making announcements on that email group. I'll post the email group uh, address where you can actually join the group uh, on the comments below this video. 
thanks very much if you in if you like the video or you've got a comment to make please do so below and uh, thank you very much